Welcome back! Now, I know I said I wasn't going to do this, but um, I thought about it some more and I figured, for completeness sake, I should really show you what uh, Pinnacle Station is like. Like I said before, I don't really think Pinnacle Station is very interesting. Um, certainly the combat bits of it aren't, and that is basically 95% of it. So, which is why I didn't really want to do it. And also because um, it is quite difficult to do. So in order to um, not make it difficult to do, I'm going to set the uh, combat difficulty to casual, which actually makes most of it laughably easy. I might even set it back to normal for the um, survival mode missions, because on casual it is actually quite difficult to die in the uh, survival missions, meaning that um, they take very long just because they don't end until you die. But for the others, uh, casual is uh, significantly easier. And it's going to mean that I don't have to spend hours trying to perfect my scores on all of the missions, and rather can just breeze through this and show you all of the content. Really, the main n nice thing about Pinnacle Station is that it gives you access to some nice equipment. But that's not really going to help me much, because this is actually... Um, uh, the save game before I went to uh, Ilos, then done all of the uh, UNC missions and uh, bring down the sky as well. So um, I'm not going to use the uh, that equipment anywhere because well I've already finished the game and I recorded the end of the game before this, so the um, ending of the game was done without that equipment. Also means that the save game that I import into Mass Effect 2 will not include Pinnacle Station, but since it never gets mentioned, to my knowledge, um, I don't think that makes any difference. Alright, let's go to Pinnacle Station in Argos Row. In the Phoenix system. I've been there before. I think that's where we picked up Rex's family armor. This time, we are going to Pinnacle Station. The asteroid-based Pinnacle Station was originally constructed by the Turians to function as a concealed command center during the Krogan Rebellions. It has been retrofitted as a military training facility for all high-level special operations teams employed by the Council. The station's combat simulator allows teams to train under a variety of hazardous conditions. Population 1200, radius 340 meters. And that's mainly the um, the attraction here is the combat simulator, which will allow you to, well, simulate some combat. There's very little actual story to it, but you do get some rewards for completing the various missions, and that is mainly what I want to show you. Like Bring Down the Sky, Pinnacle Station is downloadable content, but unlike Bring Down the Sky, Pinnacle Station is not free. Paid about 550 yen for it um, in the Japanese Origin Store. And that's about $8, I think, given current exchange rates. And is a waste of money, in my opinion. Fortunately, it's not very much. So, it's a space station. At first glance you might think it's uh, like all of the other ships and stations we visited in this game, but that's not actually the case. It's made out of an asteroid? It kind of looks like it, doesn't it? Not sure. Some nebula in the background. Anyway, let's go inside. And we got extra codex entries. That's one of the reasons why I'm running through this now, so... I get all the codex entries for later. Isn't that Commander Shepard? The human Spectre? Whatever. Spectre or no, it's always fun to see humans get pummeled in the simulator. I guess we'll show them what we're made of. Well, doing it on casual is ridiculously easy, so I guess uh, we're gonna surprise them. Go pester Ahern, human. I'm on duty. Ahern is apparently the guy who runs this place. Go pester Ahern, human. 
I'm on duty. And he has nothing else to say. Commander Shepard. At least he's uh, nicer. The control center. And there is Admiral Ahern. Let's see what he has to say about this facility. Nice view. Ah, Commander Shepard. Welcome to Pinnacle Station. I'm Admiral Taddeus Ahern. I'm glad I got the invite. Where do we begin? You'll be training in the combat simulator. After each round, you'll see how you fared against your competitors. How does the simulator work? Talk to Tech Specialist Ockren if you want the technical explanation. Basically, it creates combat scenarios that allow our operatives to build their skills in a safe but realistic environment. Who will I be competing against? The best of the best. Alliance operatives travel here from all over to try their hand at the simulator. The scores are tallied, and the winners appear on these monitors for all to see. Get your name there, and the entire Alliance will know about it. Except nobody ever mentions it again, like I said. How do I try out a combat scenario? Go talk to Ockren over in the staging area. He'll set you up and let you choose a scenario. Wait. It's shuffled the, <laughs> the options around again. So you run the station and the training here? Last I checked. It's better than a desk job and a hell of a lot better than retirement. The facility is magnificent. It has all the technological marvels a commander needs to train the perfect soldier. The Turians give their advice. Every so often, I listen to them. Okay. Thanks for the info. Carry on. And I think that gave us a new assignment. Pinnacle Station Combat Missions. Pinnacle Station has a combat simulator in which you can engage in various combat missions and compare your scores against other combatants. And we need to talk to Okran, who is apparently in charge of running the simulator. There's some other people we can talk uh, to here. We can also look around, of course. Like I said, nice view of uh, the planet. We appear to be in uh, an asteroid belt near the planet. These people, I am, I have no idea what they do. I'm sure they're very important. Sergeant Daga. Don't worry, Commander. Ahern's tough to impress. I isn't that something I should worry about? Because I, I want to impress him, of course. Then again, like I said, casual difficulty won't be hard. I'm supposing there's more to this station, considering it has, what was it, 1,300 inhabitants? Wow, there's even some, even some uh, Asari here. And this Solarian is sitting here by his lonesome. Can't talk to anyone here, except for uh, Okran over there, but... We can also check the scores of the various things we will be doing. Basically, there's a couple different modes. Time trial, um, and there's three different locations, or four different locations, I think. Warehouse, tropical, volcanic, and subterranean, but not all of them are available on all of the modes. There's also capture. See, there's subterranean. Survival, and hunt. As you can see, some of these modes are still locked. We'll have to finish the others before we can do the locked ones. Time trial is the one that I is, is really the only one that I ever tried on normal difficulty, and I never managed to finish it, which is why I'm not even bothering to do this on normal difficulty. I suppose maybe capture and sur and survival are easier are easier. Well, I know survival is easier. Um, in fact, like I said, I'm going to. Uh, do survival on normal difficulty, because, trust me, you can survive for more than the required amount of time, the 1 minute 46 here, just by standing there on casual difficulty. At least you are. At least you can if you are level 52, like I am here. 
Uh, survival is also important that I kind of know how long we need to survive. Just so I know when to stop. Uh, but we can look at, the, at that again later. And I think there's another scoreboard here. It's the same thing. You may have noticed that I didn't explain what the modes are about. That's because um, Tech Officer Okren can explain that. Wait, there's someone else we can talk to. Kel Burham. A Krogan! Get me back in that simulator. Nothing makes my D like stomping synthetics. Interesting. I would have thought a Krogan wouldn't be satisfied fighting fake enemies. Get me back in that simulator. Yeah. Nothing makes my D like stomping. So, you must be the famous Commander Shepard. I'm tech specialist Alud Ockren, lead programmer on the combat simulator. Do you need something? I'm sure I have a few minutes before someone forgets their password and comes crying to me for help. Ah, uh, the life of being tech support. I can sympathize. So how does this work? It's a combination of holographic images and kinetic barriers. Holographic images help you see the objects, and the kinetic barriers keep you from walking through them. I assume the enemies are also holographic? No. Our operatives train in a simulator by killing real, actual people. <sighs> They're simulated. But I hear the kinetic slugs hurt just the same. Really? They don't train by killing real people? How disappointing. What am I supposed to be doing in these simulations? That depends on the combat mode. We have time trial, capture, hunt, and survival modes. What are the capture mode objectives? Capture all designated control points as quickly as possible. The faster you capture all the control points, the higher your score. What's survival mode all about? Fend off waves of enemies for as long as possible. When the squad leader goes down, the mission ends. The longer you survive, the higher your score. What's the goal in the hunt mode? Defeat as many enemies as you can before the countdown timer reaches zero. You get additional time for every enemy you defeat. The more enemies you kill, the higher your score. What's my mission in time trial mode? You and your squad must defeat all enemies as quickly as possible. The quicker you defeat all the hostiles, the higher your score. I've got it. Splendid. What's with the attitude? I'm a technical genius on a station full of soldiers who only respect battlefield prowess. It's more than a little frustrating. You help keep these soldiers at their best. That's extremely valuable. I suppose so. It would just be nice to get credit for it once in a while. Poor guy. All right, let's, let's see about a new simulation. Doing so many missions. New competitors are restricted to low impact missions till they learn the ropes. The infirmary was starting to complain. Which combat mode? Time trial, capture, survival, or hunt? Uh, we'll start with time trial. Let's try one of the timed missions. And which course? I've got the warehouse or tropical courses. There is a third one, as we saw on the scoreboard, but it's still locked. And, um, well, we'll start with the tropical one, I suppose. I think I'll see how I do with the tropical course. Fine. We give you some dummy grenades and metagel. If you try to use a real grenade, I will turn off every safety measure this simulator has. Is that a threat? Are you threatening me? Now, because I'm doing this on casual, it really isn't important who I take with me. If you're doing this on the higher difficulty levels, take a squad that has good combat strength. Also, uh, biotics might help, especially in time trial, because the main reason I can't finish time trial on anything but casual is that there's not enough time to shoot everyone. Even with tier 10 Spectre gear weapons, there's not enough time to shoot everyone. You have to be very clever about how you use your powers and your squad mates' powers, and I think you pretty much have to order them, and since I never do that, there's just no way I can finish these things. Maybe I could if I tried, but I don't care enough. Like I said, it's boring. Um, I'm going to go with Ashley and Rex for most of these, um, because, well, they're powerful, so they'll help me. And, well, it's easy anyway, but whatever! It's not as if any of them ever for them to come to you. ever say anything. Oh, uh, that was a wrong button. I've been playing Mass Effect 3, so... I kind of got the uh, controls reversed. Let's see how it goes. Damn, nice shot. 
Um, this is a time trial, guys. If you get in my way, we won't make it. Good work, Shepard. I barely even need to do anything. needs to bother with cover? Not on this difficulty level, I don't. Good work, Shepard. That should do it. I think the limit was something like 120. Yeah. So, like I said, ridiculously easy. I think the best I've ever done on normal difficulty is something like um, 140 or 130 on this, uh, this particular mission and this particular course. Back off, Fedinos. I haven't done anything wrong. If you've tampered with government equipment, Brian, I'll have you thrown in the stockade. What seems to be the problem? Get lost, Shepard. This doesn't concern you. Fedinos is just mad because a human beat his record. Shut your mouth, hollow jockey. Brian says he scored highest in missions from multiple combat modes. No human's ever done that. He clearly cheated. Would you change your mind if I scored highest on those missions? Tell you what, Shepard. You beat my record and Bryant won't spend the rest of the competition in the stockade. Hell, if you even come close, I'll give you my weapon. I look forward to the challenge. I suppose many humans find failure fun. If so, then this is your lucky day. I hope Bryant has something to read. He'll be in that stockade for a long time. The gun he gives you is pretty good. Not as good as uh, tier 10 Spectre weapons, I think, but anyway. Do you need something else? Let's try a new simulation. I'm here to serve. Which combat mode? Time trial, capture, survival, or hunt? Let's try one of the timed missions. And which course? I've got the warehouse or tropical courses. Actually, we never asked this, did we? What am I trying to accomplish in the time trial mode? You and your squad must defeat all enemies as quickly as possible. The faster you take down all the enemies, the higher your score. Oh, uh, and which course? I've got the warehouse or tropical courses. Seems to be the same description he gave in the uh, overall uh, menu, uh, overall option to ask about all the different um, modes. All right, let's do warehouse. Set me up in the warehouse. Fine. The projectors are warming up. You can start whenever. Um. And now I beat both Bryant, the guy um, who Fidinos accused, as well as Fidinos himself, of course. Keep up the adequate work, Commander. As we had already been informed, he is hard to impress. Alright, next up, capture mode, I think. Do you need something else? Let's try a new simulation. I'm here to serve. Which combat mode? Time trial, capture, survival, or hunt? Capture. You have your choice between the volcanic or tropical courses. Uh, volcanic Set me up with the volcanic course. is also a new course. Fine. The projectors are warming up. You can start whenever. Get to the point and keep it at all costs. Well, there will be places indicated like that where you will have to uh, stay until the bar fills without dying. This can be hard to do on higher difficulty levels. On this difficulty level, I could pretty much ignore the enemies.
Okay, that's one taken care of. This is again something you need to do within a time limit, I think. So we need to uh, find the next point. To hold. There it is. Rex is kind of standing in my way. Alright, and one more point remaining. Which I think is probably in the other building. There it is. Exciting, isn't it? I guess if you're into this sort of thing, it might be kind of interesting to do this as a challenge on higher difficulty levels, but, well, since I'm not interested in this sort of thing, I'm just kind of glad to get it over with. Shepard, your accomplishments are an inspiration to knuckleheads everywhere. Is that a compliment, or...? I sincerely don't know. All right. Do you need something else? Let's try a new simulation. I'm here to serve. Which combat mode? Time trial, capture, survival, or hunt? Capture. You have your choice between the volcanic or tropical courses. I'll go with tropical. Fine. The projectors are warming up. You can start whenever. <laughs> And I made it again. On the bright side, Shepard, any intelligent enemy you come across will know how foolish it would be to face you. I think next is the uh, survival mode, which means I kind of want to check how long we need to survive. 131 for volcanic and 146 for tropical. Do you need something else? Yes. Let's try a new simulation. I'm here to serve. Which combat mode? Time trial, capture, survival, or hunt? Oh, okay. Sign me up for a hunt mission. Hunt is first. All right. I can get you set up in either the subterranean level or the volcanic level. Subterranean sounds good. Fine. The projectors are warming up. You can start whenever. Shepard, you need to kill to keep a hunt mission going. Hunt missions can be kind of um, challenging, even on low difficulty, just because you're kind of dependent on where enemies spawn. Oh, we're fighting Geff. Because you start out with very little time. And you get an increasing amount of time every time you shoot someone. Um, where are the enemies? The amount of time you get for each extra enemy decreases. So you can't keep this up indefinitely. What actually counts is um, the number of enemies you kill, not the amount of time you spend in here. I think you need something like 40 to... Uh, that's the way. Beat this mission.
Where the hell is Rex going? Don't know, don't care. I don't know if I actually killed him. No. I didn't. This is kind of like the uh, holodeck in Star Trek, I guess. Or the Danger Room in X-Men. Well, 73. That should be really easily enough. Yes. More than twice. That's odd, Shepard. I've never seen the holograms cry like that before. He's changing his tune, isn't he? Well, that's what you get for doubting Commander Shepard. Especially when he has uh, difficulty settings. Do you need something else? Let's try a new simulation. I'm here to serve. Which combat mode? Time trial, capture, survival, or hunt? Sign me up for a hunt mission. All right. I can get you set up in either the subterranean level or the volcanic level. Give me a volcanic. Fine. The projectors are warming up. You can start whenever. Shepard. I've never seen the holograms cry like that before. And now you're starting to repeat yourself. Ooh, I leveled up. How useful. Do you need something else? Um, yes. Let's try a new simulation. I'm here to serve. Which combat mode? Time trial, capture, survival, or hunt? I'll go with survival mode. Now pick a course. Do you want volcanic or tropical? And I could use some sun. Boot up tropical. Fine. The projectors are warming up. You can start whenever. Simulated sun. It's just like the real world. Now, as I said, um, I'm gonna switch to normal for this. The only thing you need to do is survive. Oh. I keep expecting a ply to. We need to find some place where we can get cover. <laughs> that looked like it hurt. And then we just stand here. Kind of relying on you to uh, keep uh, enemies off my back, uh, actually, Rex. Why stop shooting? This weapon with these upgrades never overheats. What are you doing here? That's it, Shepard. Get out of hell. One thirty or one forty, wasn't it? Oh well, we'll wait until one fifty. Then we're certain that it's enough. Alright, that should do. Kill me! There is a kill switch on the simulation, but I don't think your uh, squad
score counts if you use it. Well, Commander, looks like we can add a broken record to the list of things you've ruined. Was that a joke? If so, don't give up your day job. Then again, he wasn't planning to, so... I guess we're looking into the simulator from here. It is very uninteresting when not turned on. Do you need something else? Let's try a new simulation. I'm here to serve. Which combat mode? Time trial, capture, survival, or hunt? I'll go with survival mode. Now pick a course. Do you want volcanic or tropical? Let's go with the volcanic course. Fine. The projectors are warming up. You can start whenever. Beat that by a minute. Aquin must have changed it. Or... There's a bug in the simulator. You got lucky, human. That wasn't luck. It was skill. Skill at cheating the system, maybe. I'll get to the bottom of this soon enough. Bryant is clear. Keep your smug grin to yourself. I'm out of here. Aren't you forgetting something? What? Oh, yes. The weapon. Let no one say that Vidinos isn't a man of his word. can pick only one. Um, since I've been using Rex here, and Rex is the only one not using a tier 10 Spectre weapon... Let's I'll take that shotgun. Go ahead. Thing's a piece of garbage anyway. Enjoy the burn when it blows up in your hand. Armageddon X shotgun. Reduced to Omnigel, yeah. That's really useful. It's a pretty good shotgun. I know the assault rifle is not better than this one. It's close, but it's uh, not better. We'll see how it stacks up to uh, the tier 7 Spectre weapon. Um, let's go back to casual. For the remaining four trials. Do you need something else? Let's try a new simulation. Well, well. Your performance was just reviewed. You now have access to the last set of missions. Which combat mode? Time trial, capture, survival, or hunt? Let's try one of the timed missions. Which course do you want? I can boot up the warehouse, volcanic, or tropical courses. Boot up the volcanic level. Fine. The projectors are warming up. You can start whenever.
Well, that was the last one. Well, that's all of them. You took the top spot everywhere you could. No one's even surprised anymore. Impressive work in there, Shepard. Got anything else for me to do? There's a special scenario I don't get to offer to many operatives. I want you to give it a shot. Look, kid, you've done well. But I've been through a lot worse, and it wasn't a simulation. But I can make it one, if you're interested. You have something else I can try? It's a reenactment of one of my missions. We held off an ambush of Turian assault troops back during the contact war. Just me and a small squad. I haven't finished programming it yet, but it's close enough. You can try it if you like. I'd be the first one to try it? Technically. Though I did it first. In the real world. The rules are simple. Survive until you're picked up, if you can. You'll be ridiculously outnumbered. No real cover to speak of. It's the ultimate worst-case scenario. Of course, it'll only be a simulation. Then up the difficulty. I don't want it easy. You got balls, Shepard. But it's still just a simulation. Even our best VIs aren't as good as the real thing. Then turn off the safeties. No safeties? Highest level of difficulty? You'll never do it. And then I'll have to explain how a Spectre died on my station. What do you want to bet? A wager, huh? Yeah. Okay. I've got a nice little retirement place on Entice. I never go there, and I don't plan on retiring anytime soon. It's yours if you can beat it. And what are you wagering? My life. Right. So you really want the safeties off? If you die, it's getting logged as user error. I'm not losing my job over this. Seems like a really stupid deal, because if I die, he's not getting anything from that. In fact, it's just trouble for him. So, <laughs> it doesn't really seem like a fair bet. Also, it seems like a stupid idea, but anyway. What's this place like? Quiet, remote. You've practically got the whole planet to yourself. I got a brochure from Exogeny, and they dropped a prefab down on Entice for me, here in the Argus Row Cluster. The weather is terrible, but they tell me it's a red paradise, whatever that means. What do you say? Set it up. Talk to Ockren. I'll make sure he gets the new settings. I'd say good luck, but you'll need a lot more than that. Do you need something else? Let's try a new simulation. I'm here to serve. Which combat mode? Time trial, capture, survival, or hunt? I understand Ahern set up a special simulation. For the record, I'm against turning the safeties off. I'll be fine. What about my simulator? I'll be making repairs for weeks. This should be good. I don't say this very often, but... Good luck. Yeah, we might need it. Even on casual. Turians have captured a critical colonist data bank. Eliminate the defenders and retrieve the data bank. Then hold out for evac. Now it fun. Okay. Ouch. Watch yourself. You can feel that one tomorrow. Oh. Oh, these guys are using sabotage. To wait for my weapon to cool down. The data bank is somewhere in the middle. And there's these turrets that you can activate to help you, which kind of helps. There's the data bank. Perimeter cleared. Yeah. Apparently, I need to sit here. Heads up, Shepard. The fun's just starting. Let's activate those turrets. Make things a bit easier. Exactly why these turrets help, considering they're surface to air. Oh wait, this is, doesn't lead to another turret. In fact, this is pretty much a stupid place to go. Um, there's the other one. There we go. Now I just need to crouch down for four minutes and twenty-five seconds. And hopefully not die. Hmm. Did 
two of you come up here. When you did this in real life, uh, Ahern, did you have enemies spawning right in front of you as well? If so, how the hell did that work? They just keep on coming, don't they? Not entirely sure if those turrets are helping or just making things more confusing. I have no idea what's going on anymore. I'm just shooting at everything that moves. Still got two minutes left. Sabotage again. Ugh, all pain, no gain. Well, two can play that game. Almost done. Even when I stop shooting them, they stop coming. It's kind of nice of them. And we're done. And that basically is Pinnacle Station. I think I you never can. Never thought I'd see the day. Good work, Shepard. Really good work. I think you can see why. Um, I don't like this, it's just boring, repetitive, and there's no story or whatsoever to it. It's definitely not fun. And I say I'm bored to the hell somewhere? I'm not saying I'm better than you. Well, maybe just a little. You don't have to rub it in. I know what I'm beat. Makes me wish we had you during the first contact war. Could have saved a lot of human lives. And since I'm a man of my word, my retirement home is yours. Too bad. Now that I've seen you beat that scenario, I almost feel like I could retire. 
Are you serious? Hell no. The day I retire is the day I die. Enjoy that place, Shepard. You earned it. Are there any more special scenarios? Nothing new yet. But feel free to come back and run through the old ones. It's a good way to keep yourself sharp. And the recruits will get a kick out of watching the famous Commander Shepard run through the tests. Yeah. I'll pass, thank you. It's been a pleasure working with you, Admiral. Likewise. Call me Ahern. You've earned that too. Sure, sure, sure. Can I talk to other people? Huh. I can't believe you've beaten us all, Shepard. Well, believe it! Thanks for your help, Shepard. I sure didn't want to spend my time on Pinnacle Station behind bars. Well, yeah, it's the guy we helped with Fadinas. Now, the only thing left for us to do is check out that retirement home. Congratulations, Commander. It's been an honor competing with you. It doesn't sound very enthusiastic. Or the Admiral? Commander Shepard. Go past her Ahern, human. I'm on duty. He hasn't changed his tune? Now let's go check out our new retirement home, and then we'll be done. It's in the same system, actually. On Intaise. An atmosphere similar to Earth's made Intaise an early candidate for human colonization. However, prohibitively high temperatures and arid climate have proven a hindrance to terraforming and agriculture. A few human cities were founded, but the majority of the human population on Intaise remains scattered across the vast deserts, operating wind farms and geological research stations. Really the kind of place that we want our house to be. Average surface temperature 46 degrees Celsius. Oh well. Don't look a gift, ho house, uh, gift horse in the mouth, I suppose. The house itself is not really anything special. The mainly nice thing here is that you can replenish your grenades, which you cannot do on the Normandy. You can replenish Medigel, which you can do on the Normandy, so that's entirely po pointless. And there's the living room. And a bunch of, I don't know, books, I guess. The Mako, parked outside, even though we can't actually go anywhere, and, well, the view is kind of boring, I have to say. Not my idea of a nice place to build a retirement home. And I think this is a music player. Yes. And play elevator music here. Exactly what we wanted. And there's a computer with messages. From someone to Admiral Tadius Ahern. Admiral, the convoy will be positioned in the Phoenix system for the next week or so. I have spoken with the captains regarding our arrangement. As usual, if you are willing to pay the delivery fee, we can get you a sample from our weapon shipments. If not, no problem. These remote colonies can use all the guns they can afford. Goodness knows the Alliance is taking its sweet time to offer any military support. Regards, Hood. Um, well, I don't know if you intended to keep your name the secret, but if so, you suck at it. And we can basically pick which of these supply ships we want a sample from. This one gives you tier 4 equipment, this one gives you tier 7 equipment, and this one gives you tier 10 equipment, I think. What you get is random. But most of the time, what you do get is way cheaper than you get uh, than you could get it in a store, and it's typically very good equipment. And I've got a Polaris X um, biotic amp. It's, um, I can't actually look at biotic amp. I need a I need a biotic squad mate to be able to do that. Admiral, our convoy remains in the Phoenix system for the time being. Our offer still stands if you find yourself needing further armament. You can just do this as often as you want, basically. And you can get some pretty nice stuff. Um, 
Spectrum Master Gear rifle is way cheaper than it wa would be if you bought it through the uh, requisitions agent on the Normandy. And you can get some nice rare Krogan, Turian and Corian armor here as well, which is also nice. But only useful if you intend to actually play the rest of the game after this, which I don't. Because I've already finished the game before I recorded this. And with that, we are done with Normandy, uh, with, Norm with the Pinnacle Station. And see, we have um, the combat missions. We got the top score in all 12 missions, survived Ahern's challenge. We dealt with um, Vidinos. And we um, did the convoy thing, which is, just means that you use a personal computer to buy one of those things. And that's it. So we're done with Pinnacle Station, and we're done with Mass Effect.